Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create multiple zero points or timestamps in Reaper. Now, the purpose of this video is to show you how to create multiple sections where the ruler all starts at zero. For example, I have a mastering project right here with three songs. And if we zoom in to the beginning, we can see the first song starts at zero. But that only works for the first song. As we can see, the others don't. But we can change that with a feature. Let's select all these items by double clicking the track, right click over here, and choose item settings, and go down here to display item ruler. Then we can choose any type of ruler we want. I'm going to choose item time. And now, right down over here, there's a different ruler for each file or item in the project. So we can zoom in to the second song. It starts at zero. We can go along the timeline based on the beginning of each song in this mastering project. But this is only going to work because each one of these songs is a separate item. But there are more complicated situations where this won't work. For example, I have a project over here where I created music for a commercial. And as we can see, I made a 30 second version, a 60 second version, and a 15 second version. But again, there's no way of seeing our ruler up here to start over for each section. Unless we use this trick. Let's create a new track. Let's put it at the top, make it a bit bigger. We'll call it timestamp. Then we can zoom in on the 30 second version, put the cursor here, hit tab. So it starts at the beginning. Select this track, go to insert, and select empty item, which is going to create an empty item up here. Let's zoom out, make it bigger. Let's double click it to give it a name. I'll name it 30 second version. Then go down over here and choose stretch image or text, which puts the text up here. We can trim it out to any size we want. But now let's right click this item, item settings, display item ruler, and choose the ruler or ruler type we want. Once again, I'm going to choose item time, which puts the ruler right here. Then we can trim the end to go to the end of this version. Let's zoom in and we can put it right at the end like this. And we can see it's exactly 30 seconds. So we can trim it to that spot, retrim our items to match. But now we're going to know that this section is 30 seconds long based on the ruler we added. And we could do the same thing for each version we created. Just select it and copy it, put our cursor here, hit tab, Select this track, hit paste, and now it starts at the beginning. Let's rename it to 60 second version. Trim it out to the length of this item. As we can see, it's exactly a minute long or 60 seconds. And if we want, we could right click the empty item, go to item properties, and make it exact. 60 seconds. Notice it ends right here. And our song is perfectly that long. And we can fix it if we need to, to make it exactly the 60 seconds we need. When you're dealing with commercials, you really want those times to be perfect. Let's zoom out and do the same thing for the 15 second version. Copy it. Let's tab it over. Select this track. Paste it. Let's right click it. Item properties. We'll make it exactly 15 seconds. And now it starts at zero and it ends exactly at 15 seconds. 
And we can keep it longer if we want, so we can see our ruler better. We'll make it exactly 15 seconds and adjust our music accordingly. Let's rename it. And now we have a separate ruler for each version of our commercial. And it's also useful for rendering. We can hold down Shift and double click it, which creates a time selection based on the item we selected. And it's going to be exactly 30 seconds long. So now we can render this, go to File, Render. We can change the bounds to Time Selection. And now if we render this master mix, it's going to create a mix just for the 30 second version. And the benefit of this, it's going to be exactly 30 seconds long. Let's go to the hard drive. Here's that file. And if we play it, we can see it's exactly 30 seconds long. So it's perfect for a 30 second commercial. We can do the same thing for the 60 second version and the 15 second version. And if you want to use this trick again, it's kind of helpful to save it as a track template. Just right click the track, save tracks as track template. Let's name it timestamp. Choose the option down here to include the track items in the template. And now if we're in a different project, we can import it a bit easier. I have a project right here that I used for a video game with an intro section, an effect section, and an interlude. And just like the previous project, I need to know the time of each section. And again, we can't do it with the top ruler as we need it to start at zero for each section. So let's import it from our track template. Right click, insert track from template, and choose timestamp. Let's cut this one, hit tab, so it starts on this section, select this track and paste it, and we have a zero marker or timestamp right here. And we can adjust the end to be exactly at the end, which is about 17 seconds. Put it right there. Let's rename it intro section and do the same with the other sections. Copy this, put a cursor here, hit tab, select this track and paste it. Rename it effect section, resize it so it ends right over here. And we can see it's about six seconds long. We could adjust it or we'll just leave it like this. So we can see our ruler or the timestamps just for this section. And do the same for the interlude section. Select it, copy it, tab over, and paste it. Bring it out to about here, which we could see is about 12 seconds. Let's leave it out like this. Rename it interlude. And just like that, we have different timestamps set up for this video game project with a different ruler for each section we're working on. And there's one more project or situation I want to show you. This project was a live recording. Some drums, bass, piano, guitars, and vocals. As we can see, they recorded three songs. And again, we can't have a timestamp that starts at zero for each song in the ruler. But we could do it with this trick. Right click, insert track from template, timestamp, let's cut it, and go right to this marker and paste it, rename it song one, and adjust it to the song length. Right about here, we'll keep it longer so we could see the different readouts. And do the same thing with all the songs recorded. And now, just like with the other projects, 
we have a separate ruler for each song in this project. So we could see different timestamps that all start at zero based on the different songs we recorded. It's pretty helpful in many different situations. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create multiple zero points or timestamps in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.